Doctors say births in Siouxland are reflecting that national trend. In 2018, Woodbury County saw a nearly 2% decrease in births compared to last year. But that decrease of numbers of babies born a decade ago. There's been a slight decrease in the number of deliveries that reflect what's gone on nationally in Sioux City. The last time the state of Iowa saw a birth rate this low was back in 2001. I think that we had more kids then because money wasn't as tight um, and a lot of women didn't go on to college. You know, it was kind of the norm to stay home and have children. Dr. Fleming says part of the decrease is likely due to women delaying childbirth to focus on their education and careers. Personally, my husband and I met and were married like shortly before we turned 30 um, and then started having our family. The Richmonds now have two young boys but say deciding when to start a family was a big decision. Really hard to be a modern mom when there's a lot on our shoulders, especially if you're working and a lot of mom more moms are working, more moms are feeling pulled, I think, in a lot of different directions. But doctors say that delaying can also lead to fertility challenges that may require a medical intervention. And those those uh, treatments can be addressed by uh, reproductive endocrinologists and then when you're then able to have children, perhaps at a later age. It becomes this like mental nightmare where you're fighting yourself and you're fighting your hormones and um, and then after a while you're like, what is wrong with me? After years of waiting, the Chuka family eventually turned to IFE to have children. I love being a mom and I love the twins that I was given and the time of life that we're in. Economists say there needs to be enough people born in order to replace those who are retiring to help strengthen the job market, or it could begin to struggle. Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.